Hey guys, we are here today. We are going to show you how to get the developer badge on your profile and get your TikTok badge just for free, just by following the steps I do. The game is Dungeon Quest. First, you have to go up over this bridge, and behind the tree is way over there. There will be the fourth gem, the red gem. You have to collect seven gems, then you have to, then only the see next sequence will work. Also, you have to collect them in the order I do, because if you don't, the 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 second step won't work. If you see any gems in the way, don't get them. And for here is the first gem, the red gem. Now you have to go on this hilly mountain, and there there will be a white gem. But don't touch that, or else you'll have to restart, reset the whole game. Do avoid it and avoid it. Once you, you will see this old hut after this river. You have to go behind that hut. Behind this hut, there will be a castle type of thing. You have to go behind that. The yellow gem is over there. All you need to do is touch the gem. You don't need to click it. Now the next gem is right over here behind the trees on this corner. It's a blue gem. Now you have to go to the place where you spawned. I would recommend using the path I follow because that is much quicker. Once you are here, you, if the bridge we saw in the at the start of the video, you have to go there. Once you are at the bridge, go down the river. There will be a cave. Inside that cave, there will be the cyan gem. Once the cyan gem is here, you have to get out. This, but I got stuck. This took me a few seconds to get out, but eventually I got out. This can happen to you, so be careful. I tried resetting, but that didn't work. I tried to do everything I could, but it just didn't work. So I just did. I got out, but that was very glitchy. Once out, you have to go through the river. Way back there. No, not the river. You have to get the white gem. The bridge we saw when we were getting the yellow gem. You have to go on that bridge. The white gem was behind the tree. Once at the tree. Go and touch it like usual. Now follow what I do to get the purple gem. You have to go way back over there by crossing the river. You can either swim it or go way back there and walk it. I would recommend swimming. That's way fast too. You will see this enormous gate and that pillar. Behind that pillar, there is a purple gem. Just how my cursor is pointing. Once you touch the gem, you will get it. 
Now the final gem is the green is the green gem. It's a bit hard to get, but with a bit of time you'll be able to get it. Once you're you'll have to go across this again. And over here that you have to go out. If you or you can choose my way and come here. This will be a rock place. You'll have to climb through it, and you'll have to go inside over here. The sobby is a bit hard. I recommend using shift lock and timing for jumps, but I just did it in one try. This is a bit hard. Okay. When you are over here, I recommend you going to the very end of the gem and then jumping. That's how you will get there. And be careful here. This is very, this is all this hobby is very hard. Now you will have to time very properly, or you lose all your progress. You have to jump on these wood blocks and branches until you get up here. And once up here. Then be just jump, put up to the very end, and then jump, and then you'll be able to not go far from the hobby. Inside the road, there will be the green gem. Once you are, uh, you have touched the green gem, you have to go out of the. Uh, you have to go out of the uh, cave. Once you're out of the cave, you have to get, you have to go back to the place we saw when we were getting a gem. I don't remember which gem it was, but it was the cave. A few a few more months ago, it was very hard to get the core. You had to look up and see the lanterns. But now you just have to go there, and the core will be on the cave. Once at the cave, we will have to enter the pool. And you, it's very good because now you don't need to see the lanterns. It was very hard. But once, once you got it, all you need to do is type the code in that keypad. Over here, now you will see the number pad and the code has appeared. So you need to type the code. Down that you see on the date. For me, it was one, one, two, four, five, five. But it is random for everybody. Once you have done the code properly, you will be teleported to another game. That game is is done is the asset called Old Place. It's also known as the place where you will fight the boss. Now note, if you play Dungeon Quest a lot, the bosses would be very easy for you because it has only one thousand HP. But you're level one, so it's very hard. You will get two abilities and a sword. I recommend using the abilities to break the energy barriers, cause this will help you a lot, a lot. Okay, now this is a mini hobby. Don't worry, you won't lose your lives on this. If I tell you, too, this is very hard, like super hard. I see this appeared on the post few times, but. I have got it over time. Then, after you learn that, there will be a boss, and also we have fifteen minutes to complete this. Game. If you don't complete your game within that, within then you will be teleported back to the game, main game. You have to time this jump very carefully. As you can see, I failed again because it's very hard to fit a time. I recommend being careful because that's the only way I'm going to survive. Now I was able to completely get on this. Now this is also very hard, but I did it. 
Now I did the same thing with the energy barrier. The boss is over there and now if you die here, you will lose lives. The glitch. What I recommend is staying behind these sword walls and wait for him to attack. After the blue, after he has done his blue meter, his blue uh, thing, you can go on him and attack. I didn't know what to do, so I kept on staying there only. After this time, I after this whole uh, all of his shopping reward, I went to attack him. This is quite hard if I'm being honest with you. This part is there's only two places you can stay with that. Now I decided to go to the glitch and attack him after this round. That was coming in my head. I recommend you also do the same. You lose two lives, but that's okay. You'll have a life left. You'll defeat the glitch. Note, if you lose all three lives, you'll have to do everything again. Now I attacked him. All of his attacks for some reason go there. Now I decided to stay here. Because now I would have to get attacked. Now I went back to the wall to hit him. As you can see, your abilities do much damage, so you should always use your abilities. Now, this part I also lost some da- I also got some damage. But I will tone him down to 520 HP and even more. 500 HP. He's halfway done. Now I decided to go back, but his energy sources were healing him. I couldn't let him heal, so we had to. So we have to take down the energy source sources one by one. You have to defeat the the two energy sources, or else he will heal maximum. Once you've taken down the energy sources, he will stop healing. Now you should go and attack him after his shock wave has been done. The meteorites are the best time you should attack. I attacked him again. But that was not a good idea because I lost in some damage because I got some damage. I lost a life but his but your HP saves. His HP damage you did saves. So I went back for another wave of attacking. He started healing again, so I defeated the energy sources. Once I have defeated the first energy energy source, go back to the other energy source and defeat that. Now I wait for 